Festival Anaganish Summer Theater and 98.9 XFM welcome you to Wednesday Nights at the Theater. Tonight's show is a recorded adaptation of our original outdoor play, Robin Hood, The Great Escape, written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale and performed at Quebec Mountain. Sound design is by Justin Gregg. So here's what we know. The Sheriff of Nottingham has held a sham archery contest and captured Robin Hood. He made a deal with Marion that if she sacrificed herself and agreed to marry him, he would let Robin live. Now one week has passed and it is the night of either Robin's execution or release. But the Merry Men have been busy, scattered throughout the forest, hiding from the guards and working on an elaborate plan to trick the Sheriff and free Robin and themselves once and for all. Each member of the band has a very specific role in the plan, and it must go off without a hitch. We catch up with Marion, who's gathering flowers? On a night like this, what on earth is she up to? Marion! Marion! Oh, by the head of the woodland grass, between the paws of... Where are you? Midge, is that you? Ooh, ooh. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm right here. Why aren't you ready? The execution starts at dusk. Picking flowers for the wedding? You could say that. Oh. What do you think? Be careful with that, Marion. You could hurt yourself. Yes, yes, I know. If I have to marry the sheriff, I'll... It won't come to that. We'll rescue Robin and we'll all escape. If you poison yourself, Robin will have us all pierced to the cross. Poison my... No. Heavens no. This is for him. If we fail... Bloody hell, you think that Robin would rather die by your poison than by the executioner's rope? Midge, if all else fails, I'll poison the sheriff. And then what? And then he's dead. But what about Gal of Gisborne and the guards? I'll run. Once I've poisoned him. Very fast. Marion, you're going to poison him with that? Deadly Nightshade? With a name like Deadly Nightshade. Think about that. It's not the most reliable poison. It is an excellent remedy, though. (laughs) Except remember what happened that one time with little Joan? Didn't listen to me, took too much for her cramps, and thought that apple tree was her new lover. That tree will never recover. Yeah, I think she does that on purpose sometimes. What? Hump a tree? No. Take enough of this to, you know, daydream. Hmm. Or it could just give him a rash. All right, fine. What would you use? Ah, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, foxglove. He'll heave up his mutton. His bowels will liquefy and his heart will thump, 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 thumpity thump, thump, thump. Thump? Nope. Ah! No, wait! Hemlock. His stomach will feel like he swallowed a porcupine, and in his agony, he might not even notice as paralysis creeps into his lungs. His breath will come harder and harder, and he'll gasp, (gasps) but quietly, because his lungs are frozen. And then? And then what? Or? Ah, ha, ha. Wolfsbane, also known as monkshood, but since it's known to keep away werewolves, Wolfsbane is a much better name. Werewolves? Oh, don't let that fool you. With a little bit of this, a man will feel like he's coming down with the plague. And with a little bit more, his heart will thumpity thump its very last thump. All right. Wolfsbane, then. Aye, Wolfsbane. In wine? On a dagger. Really? Truly. A wee bit of the toxic root in an open wound will guarantee his grisly demise. A dagger. Huh. Yes. <laughs> Teach me. Juicy crickets. I'm supposed to be making sure you're ready for the plan. Oh, the wretched plan. Marion, make yourself pretty and smile. It's a good plan, Marion. If we thought poisoning him was the way to go, I would have done it by now. And then what? Kill Gisborne and all of the guards? Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Without a doubt. So? Uh, Marion! You used to do this sort of thing all the time. I don't understand why you're so against it. I did it to keep women safe from their husband. Well, if he's to be my husband... He's not. That will never happen. Maybe. But I want a backup plan. Just show me how to take him down. No. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah, it would be fun, but there's no time. And Will said if I don't get you into this dress, wash your face and fix your hair, he'll skin me alive. As if he could. (laughs) (laughs) I know, but still, this is important. And not just because Will says so. 
the best way for us to save Robin is for you to convince the sheriff you're serious and get him to release Robin right now. Not just keep him alive in that verminous cage for the rest of his life. But what if he doesn't believe me? Or he doesn't let Robin go? Mm, Then we go to plan B or plan C if we need to. Honestly, plan B is a lot more fun. That's when I get to whoop into action. If young Emengar manages to steal the key... Emengar? That kid could steal the horns off a ram, and the ram wouldn't know anything was missing until he tried to headbutt a deer. (laughs) Remember when she stole Bram's juniper berries? Oh, and held them hostage until he agreed to teach her the secret recipe for his very special mead. True, she's very persuasive. I think she's been selling that mead on the black market. Speaking of persuasive, by the rude devil and the deer's antlers at the end of its bones, put on this dress. I will, as soon as you teach me how to take him down. I'm telling you, Marion, it won't come to that. Why are you being so pig-headed about this? Midge, it's not just my life that will be ruined if something happens to Robin. I know. Robin means as much to me as to anyone. I won't let anything happen to him. I owe him my life. That's not what I meant. I'm pregnant. What? You're... You're pre- You're pregnant? Yeah. What? <laughs> when did you... Oh, come here! <laughs> Wait. You want me to teach you hand-to-hand combat? I-, I would rather die than marry the sheriff. But I don't want to die. I want to find a safe place for Robin and I to raise this child. I'm not worried about you hurting the baby. But killing the sheriff will simply set the guards upon you. We'll see. Please, Marion, we have to follow the plan. I will. This is just as a last resort. Promise? I'm not going to put on that pretty, pretty dress until you teach me how to take down the sheriff of Nottingham. Mm, By the stem of the goblet of the crone. Fine. Yes! I love you. Thank you. I could kiss you. Mm, But I'll hug you instead. Mm, It feels like a nice hug, but really it's a throw to the ground. All right, you stubborn ragamuffin from Derby. Get up. Now, stand over here. Uh, You be the sheriff and I'll be you. He comes in for a nice dance. You take his hand, you wrap around his waist, and then you squeeze, throw, flip, slice, right across, chest, press. Knife to throat. Something like that? Maybe something a little more subtle. Oh, okay. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's say um, he is behind you. He has a nice embrace, hands around your waist. I go, kick to the toads. Toads? Kick to groin. Oh, break class. Oof. Back fist. Ah. Pull knife. And it's a slicer. Oh, okay. Okay, let me try. Um, okay. Kick to the toads. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, the back fist. Or, 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 easy, simple. I put one arm over shoulder. I put one arm under shoulder. Okay. I bring him in, clasp, <gasps> and pivot. Throw. <laughs> Cut. Swing, wing, 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 wing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try that. Um, okay, so over the shoulder, one arm under. Okay. Uh, yep, you need to sit down. Fighting stance. Good. And throw! Okay. It didn't work. I don't think I'm strong enough. Are you kidding? You're strong. You can shoot off ten arrows in a minute. There's not many men who can do that. Except Robin. Except Robin. By the rude devil, if he hadn't shot off the hand that held that torch... Ready to set me alight? But he did. Now it's our turn. All right. Over, under. Okay. Over, under. Bring me in close. Huh. Use my weight. Uh, and throw. Uh, <sighs> oh, oh. Ouch. Okay. Well, you got me down. Now you just need to do that and stay up. Okay. That wasn't good. Do you think the sheriff will believe me? That I want to marry him? He'll believe you. But if he doesn't, he won't watch the rabbits get married. The rabbits are adorable. He just needs to be distracted long enough for me to get Robin out. Ugh. I think that flea-ridden woodcock actually likes you. Ew. Or at least he likes your lands. That's more likely. Where will you go? I don't know. I just want this child to grow up knowing love and joy, not how to trap a knight on the road and steal his coins, or how to avoid getting killed by the sheriff's guards. Wherever you go, little trout... I'll be there. You'll need a midwife. Thank you, dearest witch. Oh, 
wise woman, if you please. <laughs> that too. What does Robin think? About the baby? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know. I've only been sure of it myself for a short time. I never had a chance. Oh, Midge. What if we fail? If he dies tonight, I can't. What if today is his last day on Earth and, and he doesn't know how much I love Robin him? Robin or... knows. And from heaven, he'll be keeping an eye on that little piglet of yours. And Marion... We won't fail. We are the merry men of Sherwood Forest. We damn well are. And you have the wolf's fame, just in case. Right. Okay. Here. Take my dagger. Really? Only if you need to, Marion. Thank you. All right. Get over here. Give me a hug. <laughs> My leg, my leg, my leg. Pull the dagger, pull the dagger. My leg's right here. My leg's right. It's a slicer! Woo! Woo! Atta girl. Now, ready to put on that pretty, pretty dress for your new fiancé? Ready. This episode of the outdoor play Robin Hood, The Great Escape was written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale. Robin Hood features the voices of professional and community actors. Our professional actors in this episode were Karen Bassett as Midge and Rachel Lloyd as Marion. Our featured unsung heroes this week are Marianne Burke and Aaron Doyle, our volunteer stage manager assistants. Sound design was by Justin Gregg and direction by Andrea Boyd. This project is made possible through the support of Canada Council for the Arts and our presenting sponsors, McLeod Group and Atlantic Windows. To catch up on past episodes and to donate to Festival Anaganish, go to festivalanaganish.com. And if you enjoyed this, please spread the word on social media. Tune in next week for the continuing saga of Robin Hood, The Great Escape.